While many of you had the day off for the Labor Day holiday, police and other safety authorities are hard at work. A big part of the job that comes with any holiday, cracking down on drunk drivers. In fact, a new study from SafeWise ranked South Dakota sixth out of 50 for the most impaired driving deaths. Kendall Lance Claire Lavazorio caught up with drivers on the road about this alarming statistic. A top 10 ranking for drunk driving deaths. A statistic Labor Day drivers in Kelloland find alarming. There's a lot of stupid people out there. As drivers are filling up their gas tanks this holiday, I talked to one woman who will be out on the road. I, I'm always constantly, even in town, I'm always constantly looking in all directions, even the traffic coming towards me. A new study by SafeWise uses National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and census data to take a look at which states have the most deaths due to drunk driving. Take a look at this map. While South Dakota ranks sixth, neighboring states North Dakota and Montana are both in the top three in the nation for most deaths. And a smaller state population doesn't necessarily mean a lower rate of fatalities. North Dakota is the fourth least populated state in the country, but still has the third highest rate of impaired driving deaths. The Sioux Falls Police Department says Labor Day usually brings an uptick in this type of driving. We'll have officers, of course, 24-7 as we usually do anyways, uh, that'll uh, all be on the lookout, whether they're traffic or patrol. Uh, uh, on the lookout for impaired drivers. On a given weekend, Officer Travis Olson says there will be a dozen DUI arrests. But this long weekend, he expects more. Olson's best advice get a ride and leave your keys at home. If they're out celebrating with friends and family to uh, consider alternate uh, means of transportation uh, that they've got available, uh, which is pretty easy these days with. Uh, some of the services around town. To avoid becoming a statistic. Yep, if you want to drink a party, stay home, do it at home. That way nobody's going to get hurt. If you do have a party, maybe um, take the people's keys away, make sure they get home safely, and just have a fun weekend. In Sioux Falls, Claire Lavazorio, Kelloland News. South Carolina had the highest total number of impaired driving deaths. Multiple studies have shown a correlation between the use of ride-sharing services like Lyft and Uber and a decrease in crashes.